My name is Naima. Naima, you were in the local newspaper, right? They interviewed you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Probably. yeah. That, that, yeah. That's where I found out where you were, so, okay. Oh, okay. All right. And then let me turn to this gentleman. And your name? Hi, oh, yeah, I'm Chris. Chris, nice to meet you both. Um, I'm just going to pull back a little bit so I think I can. There you go. And how long have you guys been down here at Occupy? Seventy-six, and do you feel like it's been successful? It depends on how you see it. Um, yes. Most of us probably thought we were going to be more people, but uh, I wouldn't say that we didn't succeed anyways. The plan from the beginning was just like keep it one night. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. Well, you succeeded that yeah. then. <laughs> and there's a lot of people passing by here, and we are here to create awareness and talk to people. Good. So. Good. Yeah, sounds successful. And this project here is uh, dealing with something from the big winds or, or another encampment? Uh, we had the two days ago, and the most of our tents had a big problem. Yeah. Blown away. And uh, my, my tent that we got behind, it was, it was the only one uh, that you can say you don't need to be worried about. Ah, okay, all right. So uh, they start to trust me, like uh, doing the construction. <laughs> oh, good, good. And uh, they'll, they'll take my project and uh, build the same plan like mine. Oh, I see. And for sure, I think we're going to make a winter like this. Good, good. Well, in Portland, Maine, um, the city council initially let Occupy move into a park. But now they've said that it's not safe because of fire hazards um, and there have been a couple of crimes and so forth. Is that a concern for you guys at all? Uh, not really, because uh, we Okay. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. We have our alarms. Okay. Wake up and figure out what is happening. Okay. All right. And do you guys use the the crazy hand signals that Occupy uses? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know so. Crazy. <laughs> no, I know, I know. But <laughs> well, the first time I saw them, I'm like, what the hell is this? And now I do them too. So. Um, how many people do you tend to have show up at General Assembly? Oh, it's, uh, it varies a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, we had one day there were 30 people, and yep. then the next day we were five. Right, right. And it didn't, like, we didn't know why. Yeah. So we really never know how many people are going to be. Sure. And sometimes we forget to have General Assemblies because we, like, we're building and there's no one from the outside coming asking for it. So right. we forget it. And then we don't have anyone, so. Right. But usually we have it every day, and we. Good. I would say approximately about 12, 10 people. Around you. As yeah. an average, yeah. And yeah. and how long do they go? How long do the assemblies last? Uh, that's different. We start at six o'clock uh, okay. on weekdays, and we are supposed to end at seven o'clock because we're having. Um, like work, working groups meetings right after. Yep. So we're supposed to stop by seven o'clock, but we never do. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. hard one. Yeah. yeah. And before, before we had all our working groups, we just had general assemblies for hours. So okay. The working groups really made it easier to like say that no, this is a working group point. We don't need to talk about the right. Right, now, so. right. And uh, did do you? Uh, you're Scandinavian, so do you start on time? Well, I'm Scandinavian. He's not. You're not. No. <laughs> you're from where? Hungry, okay, yes, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, how, how she says, maybe you are, we are not so many people right now, but after winter, I have trust. So yeah. We'll have uh, this park full of tents because uh, many many of us are afraid to sleep here because it's cold, this winter. Sure. We don't really trust our ideas how to isolate the tents. Yeah. But we have ways to be important. Good, good. It'll, yeah, well, that's our hope too. I mean, part of what's happened in Maine is be because there has been some trouble with the camp. We've been trying to move into other forms, and one of them is we started this TV channel uh, to try to get the word out. And we're still trying to keep the camp going. They've actually had to take it to the point of a, of a court where we're suing the city of Portland that we can stay. And some people didn't even want to get into that because it felt like we were you know, justifying them as having the power over us. But, um, but it's good to see you guys down here. I came down the other morning after the storm, and everybody was still in their tents. <laughs> I, I actually I talked to Gustav briefly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I had read the article that, that you were interviewed for, so that was good. Do you know good what newspaper it was? 
Well, there's a there's an English. Um, you can go online. It's oh, called yeah. the local. Yeah. And that was the one. So, and they mentioned. Uh, I think that's where I meant. Oh no, maybe on your Facebook I saw the thing about um, the, the Christmas on the 27th. Yeah. How did that go? It went well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. We, it was kind of hard since we had the storm just before. Uh, yeah. A lot of people didn't sleep at night, sure. so it was yeah. hard to get up in the morning. And I guess since it was still very windy and not very good weather, we didn't have that many people show up. But still, it was really nice. We had uh, people donating money to oh, buy good. food, good. and we sang some songs and played guitar. And we had the Christmas trees. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Is that you consider that your your own, or he, you have one here? Yeah, we have one here. No, yeah. No. Yeah, the Christmas tree because the wind is blowing too powerful. Yeah, good, 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 good. All right. Well, anything else that you would like to mention about your Occupy movement or any words of inspiration for U.S.? I think we are happy here in Sweden for the moment because we don't have the biggest problem that other Occupies have. Right. Police. We still have a good relationship with police. They they come by sometimes. Yeah, they were here last night. Yeah. And they ask us, is everything okay? Do you have problems? And we are very happy with that because we have a lot of problems in society. We don't need one more. Yeah, exactly. Running around with police. Yeah, yeah, understood. So I think we are only one of the few occupiers yeah. of, of the, from the world that doesn't have this problem. Mm. And are there many other occupiers in, in Sweden? None. None, you're it. Yeah, no. Nothing no in Gothenburg? There are, no. yeah, there were in Gothenburg before, but. Um, there are like Occupy movements, but no occupations. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, you guys are courageous to be out here with this weather. And, <laughs> and I'm proud to say that uh, police now really trust us that we don't drink alcohol inside and Good. we don't do drugs inside. Yeah. At the beginning, they've been suspicious, but yeah. now they really know what we do here because they saw us many times. Yeah. And we feel confident with this. Good. If we'll ever have a problem around us, we know that uh, police. That we've had that trouble with. Um, there were a couple of crimes. One guy got hit on the head with a hammer by somebody going through the park. Uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. And then a lot of drinking. And it's been hard because we want to not exclude anybody. Yeah. You know, well, we, we know that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then how do you deal with, you know, the mental illness or the alcohol or, you know, which is arguably part of this, you know, this yeah. message as well that, you know, we need to help these people. Yeah, but we decided from the beginning that uh, we're not a center we're, yeah. not, we're not strong enough ourselves to be a helping center yeah, maybe good. in the summer we could have like a homeless shelter tents yeah thingy, yeah but not right now and uh, if we have problem with homeless people uh, we just call uh, we call a, a homeless shelter and they will oh, come good. here where they're uh, with their people and ask them if they want to come and sleep there so the homeless don't sleep here at all then um, we have like two homeless people sleeping here sometimes but they're really like they don't take any drugs or okay. not all right, good, they're good. really like yeah. good people and uh, yeah also we decided that if someone comes in the middle of the night and wants somewhere to sleep and they they like they look like good people right right <laughs> we let them stay one night okay and then check it out to go on. oh so I see. we have guest tents 